what I want to talk about is um, something that you've heard a lot about already this morning, and it's some of the experiences that we had in our co-op. And, and so last year, last couple of years, we've been making a lot of improvements at our co-op, um, really wonderful things. We've rebranded our store. Um, we've added some really lovely signage that celebrates our um, local farmers and our regional food system. We painted inside and out. We uh, listened to our owners and the things that they were looking for, and we added a hot bar and a salad bar for the first time. We've only had a grab-and-go deli department, it's very small. Um, we also added a fresh meat department, and that was really wonderful. Um, to support these new level of services, we focused on the service levels of staff. Um, we augmented our training program. Um, we built tools for accountability and for performance. And the feedback from our owners was a resounding yay. They loved it. They just were invigorated by the co-op. They felt proud to be there. And it was a great success. But um, those sales, uh, those double digit sales growth years were over. Um, we topped out at 17% several years ago. And this year, even with all of the wonderful improvements that we've made, we are still only getting a 3% sales growth. Um, and so we, um, you know, what we had to do is to examine our local competition with a new lens. Um, we saw that our local competitors also understood the value of our marketplace. Um, Safeway and Raley's, which are some of the traditional retailers, had become more savvy in the products that they carry and the way that they uh, talk about the work that they do. And the mega retailers like Target and Costco well, they dramatically expanded their um, organic and natural food selections. Um, and we really believe that that has been a major impact on, um, on our sales. And so it's really easy in this growing competitive environment to feel anxious or threatened um, about the work that we do and our accomplishments. And all we have to do is look back, as Marilyn talked about, um, the legacy, our, you know, the 1970s co-ops, and see that if they, when they didn't change, that they had to shut their doors. And so um, we know that that is an important thing for us to pay attention to, to that legacy, to those stories. Um, the supernaturals and chains are getting exceptionally good at understanding our customers' desires and pairing them with feel-good stories that connect with our shoppers. Um, they are communicating our core values, which is local and whole and community. Um, they're providing an exceptional price value and image. And they are doing all of this in a format that really appeals to a wide range of shoppers. Um, so what does this tell us? It tells us that we need to increase accessibility in our co-ops. We want and need to connect with a greater range of shoppers other than our core. Um, we want to be accessible, particularly when evaluating really specific, few specific things. Um, price, we need to be appealing to all economies and demographics. Um, our platform, again, has to be clean, it has to be comfortable, and it no longer has to have, it can no longer have the co-op co club vibe. And I think that's um, something that we have to kind of reiterate is that, you know, the co-op club vibe is, is not a serviceable model. Um, it creates um, kind of a closed door effect and, um, so we want to make sure that we, that we kind of send that, send that era off. Um, so this is a salient opportunity. Uh, to further our work, we need to increase accessibility into our communities. And we should challenge ourselves to ensure that our leadership arms are aligned. Um, and we are thoroughly informed about the new market, the new market, market, the new market conditions. Um, we also need to have strategic pathways to act decisively, not only to protect the co-op, but to ensure that it thrives. Um, OK, so to get here, what do we need to do? So we need to evaluate, and we need to ask tough, yet regenerative questions. Uh, what are the barriers? What are the things that keep us from making crucial improvements, pursuing expansions, and launching relocations? Do we have alignment about what growth looks like? Do we have sacred cows that we're unwilling to examine? 
And do we know what it takes to increase accessibility and expand the circle of we? Ultimately, we are looking to open our cooperative doors to make sure that more people feel comfortable and are able to shop in our stores. I believe that the cooperative co economy is waiting to explode. So if we let it. Thank you.